Hey guys, this is Rob Jam Webb here for Waxidis Music and what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a raw 1970s funk track using strictly the Contact Free Player. Now the Contact Free Player has been around for quite a while um, and it's something that I really use quite a lot, especially the funk bass um, and it's got some great little sounds in there as well which are completely free. So if you uh, want to kind of listen to what I've done here and just see the raw elements of what I've created so that you can get an idea for yourself if you want to make that kind of mid-70s sort of, you know, funk, jazz funk, whatever it may be. Um, the track is just a little groove that I've put together um, and I've used the uh, keys of... Uh, so it's uh, F major 7 with a D root, E minor 7 uh, and then an E minor 7 with an A root. So we'll get to that in a minute. So this is the track anyway, I'm just going to play it through and it's got uh, an, a Rhodes, a funk bass, a clavinet, some string ensemble uh, synth machine um, keys and a jazz guitar and a couple of drum loops. basic little demo but what I'm trying to show you is just that the combination of these sounds it can make that kind of raw sort of sound um, which is uh, pretty cool to do so first up then is the electric roads which I've got from the uh, the contact player and it's comes from the factory selection so you've got all of those sounds in there um, which are all in the band sounds. So you've got piano rock guitar and stuff like that upright bass that's a really good one too and then you've got the play series, which is this one down here. These are free as well, which are kind of synths and like ambient -y sort of stuff. Um, and then in the synth pack, you've got all the arps and leads. You've got loads and loads of sounds that are free, that are really worth you know investing in. Um, just all you have to do, though, is register it and get a Native Instruments uh, access uh, platform da dashboard thing on your desktop um, and connect them that way. I mean, this, it's just worth getting. It's really worth getting. So the first one is the roads, and it's just... So just a few chords there that I've put together. So that's the roads. Let's just loop a bit of that. And then the second sound that I've got on there is the funk bass. And that's uh, in the same bank. And that's a really cool, really, really cool bass. It's just like... Yeah, it's just some pretty pretty cool little, you know. So you can do all sorts of little tricks with that. You can put all the tones down and all the wire and you get, get all that on it. Next up is the clavinet. This is really really cool sound. And the clavinets, are, some of them can be really poor, but this one's really good. <laughs> That's pretty cool uh, and then you've got the string sound which is the string melody <clears throat> and that's the vintage sort of it's quite famous in a lot of sound a lot of records from those days that one the early sort of synthesizers one of the polyphonic sort of ones and this sound is the one that Patrick Adams used quite a lot of you remember that track he did um, uh, I forgot what it's called now cloud one one that one uh, disco juice so yeah that, that that kind of sound which is pretty cool and you do all sorts with that so that's the string melody orchestra and then you've got a jazz guitar in there which is uh, you've got all the wow wow and stuff in here put the wire in it 
you know, you've got a reverbs in there, you've got some nice reverbs built in, cathedral, all that. You know, there's stacks and stacks of stuff, and the rest of the track is just two drum loops that I put together. <laughs> That's it. It's just a short video showing you, you know, the capabilities and the combination of sounds to make an old school funk track um, using the Contact Free Player. So go ahead and download it, grab it. The link's in the bottom here, and take advantage of it and make some pretty cool music with it. It's really good for lo-fi stuff as well. You know, you know, with the roads and the things like that, you can do some pretty cool stuff um, with the jazz guitar as well for some lo-fi sort of hip hop and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you soon. Thank you and goodbye.